Hello, uh, this is a supplementary file uh, for the article, for my article. So what we have done uh, here is this, uh, this is the paper from Alam et al, where they are, as, as you can see here, they are actually saying that there's a big fault, which they say is a dextral strike slip fault, to CKF, Central Kashmir fault. And uh, based on that, they're saying that this basin is actually formed by the fault. Now, I have a major problem with this, which I have discussed it in many papers, and, and, and today we're going to do the same thing. So, uh, for example, if this is the fault and forms the basin, then this fault should not actually pass through the basin, should be at the margins. So let's, let's try to do that here. For example, in this figure one, what I'm showing, uh, you have a fault before, right? And after, the moment you move it, in, in this case, dextral, you form a basin. Look at the fault. So the fault is here at the margin, right? So if I want to show you that by this, uh, for example, if I just um, cut this, uh, so I have already, uh, it's cut. Now if I move this, for example, here is the fault, so I am moving the dextrally. Uh, if I move this, so you see the gap is forming here. Uh, to make it clear, you can see it here now. Look at that. So you have a, a gap forming clearly here, right? And the fault is at the margin. This is the fault. So generally what's going to happen with time, these uh, where we have, because we are pulling the crust of the earth where uh, these are rocks, in fact. So when you move the rocks, then they will resist to therefore the extension. So here will be extension will be uh, compensated by normal faulting. Okay. So this will be normal faulting here. If that is the case, then this will be, uh, this basin will be filled with normal faults. And the margins, so the margin will be the fault, actual strikes, the fault. Um, they have that in the center, as you can see here, um, in this case, right? Now, other problem with this is that, as I've highlighted here, for example, their uh, fans, so if the fault fans, uh, it it, ha it uh, at the margin of a strike slip fault. If it actually, you know, terminates there, it can form fans. But those fans can never form like this. They will be in this case. They will be something like this, because here the material comes in and goes. You know, against it. So you can have these rides on top. You can have thrusts with two different polarities, uh, and definitely not the things that they are they have mapped as as. Uh, these fans, which I think is is simply not possible. Um, so, uh, so this is the the, the major problem that this uh, uh, paper has that it cannot pass through the basin. It must be at the margin of the basin plus these uh, uh, these fans that you see here. So that's uh, what I have highlighted in this case, as you can see here. It must be somewhere there, right? And another thing that I have noticed. Uh, if you look at the at this figure, you can see there are steps. See, because s steps can easily form uh, basins or even ridges. So in this case, when I did that, I used exactly their figure, uh, and then I moved it. So I cut it by a scissor and then moved it. You can see that after uh, I slip, so I, after uh, the moment we form at least one, two, three, four, five basins. So what it means is that if with that geometry, the fault has moved in the past, it will create at least five basins, not just one Kashmir basin. So even with the with the uh, with the geometry that they have mapped, it is simply impossible to get just one basin. I mean, in the wild, even if we if we say it exists, and it simply does not exist. Thank you.